Charles Rogers Sounder and Wadsworth, but I just use Charles Wadsworth, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Charles, welcome nice to Toronto. Toronto. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks, Ben. Uh, welcome, and uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um, I understand you moved from Sri Lanka to in a, a early age to Norway. So tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll talk about uh, whatever living in business. Sure. Uh, so hi guys, it's a pleasure for me to be here in Toronto and also to catch up with Oliver. We've uh, met each other on different occasions and I've been kind of following each other and nice to kind of catch up in person like this. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was born in Sri Lanka, I lived there until I was about ten and a half. And in 86 we moved from Sri Lanka to Norway due to the civil war back home there. My mother, my father and me and my two younger sisters and we've been living in Norway ever since. And we have quite a similar story why we yeah. moved out of our countries based on the war and not wanting to get into it. Yeah, so I've been living there ever since and uh, I'm now married to a beautiful Norwegian lady called Hilda. Uh, we've been together since 2000 and married since 2005 and we are blessed with three boys. I see Prince who's now 11, Shawn Michael who's 9 and Liam Jeremiah that's one and a half years right now. Three boys, you're, uh, you're a rich man. I am very well, yeah. very blessed, absolutely, Good. absolutely. Good. So it's, it's, it's great to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Good. And how did you get involved with Forever Living? Well, uh, I, I got involved in network marketing as industry at the age of 19 for a friend of mine. I worked with three different companies before I got into Forever Living. And it was my friend and a colleague of mine, Steve, who contacted me about Forever Living and I and I declined it at first. I you said no? I said no. Because of prior experiences and I had lost faith in the industry and I didn't believe that it was a company that was worth my time and effort but I was also very disappointed about myself I didn't have that confidence or the trust that I would have what it takes to bounce back into it and in 2002 that was a really challenging time in my life when I kind of lost everything due to this industry and my father passed away and there were so many yeah points of you know uh, thoughts and uh, but this person didn't give up so he called me every single day for almost two months and he told me you know he said Charles have a look at it and then you can say no so I met up just to get get over it but when I heard about Forever Living I was really impressed because there were no false promises but just they told you what you had to do and it took effort it didn't come easy uh, I like that part but I was a bit skeptical about the products so my girlfriend then my wife today she fell in love with the products and I remember I was actually hoping that she wouldn't like it because then I wouldn't have to do this, right? But she did fall in love with that. And we, we borrowed money for our first start pack back in October 2003. No, sorry, 2002. And it, it actually took a few months before I... Yeah. So you borrowed money to, to purchase a starting yeah, yeah, journey we, pack? because wow. I was really... We were set back real bad because of very poor decisions that I made financially prior. and. Uh, yeah, so we borrowed money for the first package and it took me about four months being skeptical <laughs> uh, till I kind of went for a big event, the first prop showing event, now the chairman bonus. In, Where was that? That was in Sweden. Sweden, okay. And uh, I got and? to meet, meet Rex for the first time. Okay. We were pinned as supervisors and uh, I was still not convinced. Uh, but during that day I spoke to a lot of people and I one-on-one -on -one together and I saw that okay this is the vehicle that I've been looking for I just need to put the time and the effort into it and I remember just within three weeks we made manager uh, and I went full-time in June actually this month uh, 15 years ago with this opportunity Wow! and it's been an amazing journey ever since you know it's I mean just amazing amazing yeah. and I understand that our next International convention, which we call Global Rally, is Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> Stockholm, Sweden. Unbelievable. And yeah. you're bringing half the country. Very excited about that. Yeah. Very, and I'm really, I, I will just, if, it's, if, if, you, if you're listening to this and you're just thinking about, I need to do one thing, one concrete thing for my business, for yourself, then my recommendation is go, go hard, work hard, focus towards the Global Rally, give it your very best, and after that, make a decision whether or not. And I promise you, It'll be for the better. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Good. For those of you who don't know, um, Charles is a very successful in Forever Living. He is probably one of the top 20 people in Forever Living. And uh, Charles, Charles is 
Sapphire Manager, yeah. and you achieved Eagle Manager, Sapphire Eagle Manager. Yeah, that, that is fantastic. not an easy thing to do. No, but it's, for, yeah. for those people who understand how hard or how tough it is to become Eagle number one, and then Senior Eagle, Soaring Eagle, but Sapphire Eagle, congratulations Thank on that. Thank you, but that was, that was, it's, it's, it was the very first time the Eagle, uh, the program was there with the uh, Eagle Sapphire, we were the first Eagle Sapphire qualifiers amongst a few others, and that's not. It's, it, one thing is the effort that you put in yourself, but it's also about the, the people that are part of your business. And without having those people, you're not able to reach those positions. So it's one thing is what we put into it, but the other thing is the the most important thing is the people who pull together with you, who run for their own dreams. That, it, that became a result for us. It yeah. is a team effort. Absolutely, yeah. that's what brought us to GLT and so forth. So. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. And then you became GLT member. Yeah. yeah. That was unbelievable. That is even even higher. Amazing. Yeah. It just, you know, when you think about me when I was approached by Forever Living, how skeptical I was, how much I rejected it, how much I didn't want to hear it, you know, and I was so close not being a part of it. I even wanted my girlfriend back then, my wife today, not to like the products, you know, and then I get to become GLT I know. together with my wife and kids. It's just amazing. And it, it's really a proof of what Forever Living is, how how much it can give you if you put in your part. Yeah. So here's a lesson between the lines. For all those people who said that no, I'm not interested, yeah. don't just give up on them. So ask them so that they can at least take a look and then say no, and that's what we respect. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So big thing coming up is uh, Stockholm, Sweden, Next Global year. Rally. Thousands and thousands of people. We are going for 15,000 people in an amazing venue. 15,000 15, people. people. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We, love, we look forward to having you all over in Scandinavia. Yeah. Good. And Charles, tell me what are your, your, your upcoming goals? What are you working on now? Oh, I'm getting back on the track to get into GLT. That's my main target now to get back to GLT and then also break Eagles to Fire again. Uh, but my target is Diamond Manager in three years. When I hit 45, so diamond next, manager at age 45. That, that's my that, goal, yeah. That's your. That, that's what you want for the birthday. Yeah, that's my birthday gift. 28th okay. of February, in three years. I'll be nice. there. So the reason I, I haven't been, I haven't been driven by position before, uh, but when I was at the global rally this time, I kind of fell in place where it kind of showed me that that is such a concrete target. It's a doable target. It takes effort and time to put into it but it also forces me to move forward because it's so easy to get comfortable, you know? It's so easy to get comfortable and by me proclaiming that goal to you guys and to my team and I'm saying not, I'm not the least to my family and my kids, you know, they keep you strong to it. So uh, I can say that the moment I started, I made the decision, I started proclaiming, it's actually moving me forward. So got some work Good. to do but yeah we're gonna keep you accountable please do please yeah. do yeah. and we're gonna celebrate with you absolutely and it's I know amazing. you can do this you're, you're an amazing speaker you're an amazing Thank leader you so much yeah from what I hear from other people they're lucky to have you as a leader somebody who can show them the way and what's possible what's doable and we had Charles in Toronto speaking before and we, we always uh, enjoyed your, your your speeches and your inspiration motivation and also practical tips and tricks for people what to do i think it's like we were speaking earlier oliver is that forever living is a vehicle where you get to be who you are right? you can choose which qualities in you that you want to enhance you can choose which kind of activities you want to invest your time and effort into and make your own vehicle with forever living and if you put in the time and effort you will reach your goal it's not about when you reach it's about reaching the goal and i want to leave you with one of this something that i'm really passionate about is that like for example my goal to become a diamond in uh, when I, before i reach 45 is that the main thing for me is that i should know when i reach that day that i did my very best towards reaching that goal and if i did my very best that is even better than reaching the goal if i didn't reach it if i reach my goal and i still haven't done my best then that that goal is limiting me, all right? So I teach my kids that it's much better for them to do their very best than to reach a goal. If you reach a goal by doing your best, that's okay. But if you reach a goal not doing your best, then you're losing out. 
good. So it's very all good. about doing your very best every yeah. single day. Very important, very yeah. important. And even in case that something happens and you don't reach the goal, you feel you did your best. Better off and you're better off than Absolutely. if you had it. You, know? yeah. you, need to, you need to see what you see with your eyes closed is much more important than what you see with your eyes open. So when you close your eyes and look ahead in the future, what do you see? Train yourself to see what you want with your eyes closed. Daydreaming, right? You envision it so strongly and you feel it pulls you towards it, then you will accomplish it. It's what you, with your eyes closed, you know, what you see. Kids have that, have that, have that in them every right. single day. They talk about what they want until they have what they want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the moment they get what they want, they're ready with something new. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we know that about natural, kids, yeah. that's natural. We have it in us too. We just need to be in an environment that encourages them. That's it. Good. So, so you can see better with your eyes closed than oh, with yeah, your eyes open. That is more important. Yeah. Good. That is fantastic. Charles, thank, thank you so much My for your time. Though. My pleasure. And it was a pleasure having you here. And uh, thank you for sharing with everybody. My pleasure. Uh, this will hopefully be seen with uh, hundreds and thousands and thousands of people. So, uh, so it can exp inspire others as well. Thank you once again. My it pleasure. was a pleasure having you here. God bless you and your family and people who are working with you. And people in forever. See you in Stockholm. See you in Stockholm, right. yes. Take care, guys. Goodbye.